so the, the first thing to know about our, our next speaker is I was sitting there while Caleb was talking and I thought, is she actually here? And then I looked up and I saw her buy, like, buying a beer at the bar and kind of walking and strolling around and I thought, there, she's ready. And she's not even aware that I'm talking at her now because I can see and I'm looking at her. And she's not even, oh, wait, now she's aware. Um, so our next speaker is a native of Venezuela and she's also an assistant professor of management at IU East. So uh, please welcome the lovely, the talented Janie Rivas. Okay, when I came to the United States as a graduate student, I needed to learn English fast, desperately. I really needed. So I felt, I felt so lucky when a Polish friend and her husband invited me to be their roommate. It was perfect, right? She speaks Polish, he speaks English, I speak Spanish. The only way to communicate between <laughs> us was English. Perfect, right? But there was a problem, always, right? There was a problem. They had a cat. And you may think this is not a problem, but listen, I do, I do not like animals inside my home. I mean, guys, they are beautiful, they are nice, but cats, animals inside home, they are messy, they scratch or, you know, scars things, break things, they get dirty, they get dirty things around them. So, I mean, I like them, but not inside my home. Well, but I thought, it's a cat. Do you know cats? Do you know cats' personality? They are independent, they, are, they like to be alone, they like to have their space, so I say, this cat will leave me alone. <laughs> and I made the decision, I moved in with my friends. It was so, so mistake, a big mistake. This cat is not like the cats you know. No, really, really. This cat was more like, um, let, me, let me give you an example. This cat follow my friends, for all around the, ha the house. It's not that a, a, a dog, right? He follow, and the cat also, uh, for example, uh, he um, liked it a lot to play with my friends. And sh did I tell you that he had, sh the cat had a box of toys, a huge one. And he liked to take toys with her uh, mouth and go follow my friends, asking them to play with him. <laughs> what, the, what kind of cat is this? Well, but the good point is that the cat didn't bother me, never, until she did. <laughs> One day, I put the cereal with, my, with, a milk, uh, with milk in a cup, and when I came back, I left, and when I came back, guess who was eating my food? The cat. Another day, I opened the door, my bedroom door, and the cat, I mean, the cat was over my papers and book. Do you know who is the baby of a graduate student? Papers and book. Yes. There was my baby, and that cat was sleeping over my babies. <laughs> At this point, I really thought this cat has a personality disorder. <laughs> What about this personality disorder, dependent personality disorder that uh, means that you cannot be alone? You have to be with someone else, dependent personality disorder. Or what about narcissistic personality disorder that you all the time need the attention from someone, right? Well, one day, I remember, I say, well, whatever, you really need this, learn English, right? So let it go. One day, and it was like, you know, not really bad, but one day I, I, I arrived early than my roommates did, and they got decided that it was a good time for in, uh, moving forward in our relationship. <laughs> I was alone in home, get ready for relaxing, went into the sofa, 
turn on the television, and the cat jump into my lap. I couldn't believe it. I nicely say to that cat, get out of here. I couldn't believe it, and that was enough. The cat understood. So uh, it was, uh, 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 the cat decided that she, I mean, the cat understood that message and never bothered me again when we were alone. But when we were with my friends, the situation was different. The cat, the cat, the cat understood that something was different. One day, uh, we, I was again with my friends in the sofa watching the television, and the cat again jumped with a toy in her mouth into my lap. But this time, she had a message for me. I dare you, with her fires, you know, yellow eyes looking directly into my eyes, and she was like, to, she was like, she told me, I dare you to scream here, in front of your friends, right? And you may, you may believe that the solution was very easy, something like, okay, get out, cats. I mean, I don't like cats in my labs. I don't, I don't like cats in my bed. But listen, this cat was not a regular cat for my roommates. It was a, like a, an only child. This cat slept with my friends. Slept with my friends. This cat ate with us in the table. Has a plate special for her in the table. A cat for her. How can you tell someone about her only child or his only child? You know what? Your baby is a monster. <laughs> Get that baby out of here. You cannot say something like that, guys. And I'm not sure if I told you, but my friends, they were very nice to me. Listen, when I was sad, they bought donuts for me. When, I mean, when I didn't have car, they took me to the university. And even they spent, spent many months learning Spanish. I didn't know that at the time, but they did, because they wanted, they wanted to express in my own language. They were very nice to me. But I really could stand that. I, I, I really hate that cat, really. <laughs> so one day, uh, one of our friends from Venezuela came to, uh, to have dinner with me. And I thought it was a good time to express my feeling because my friend was being, was being too friendly with, that, with the cat. Was too friendly, like, oh, it's so cute. And the cat, I, did, did I tell you about the personality disorder? The cat was like, <laughs> and my friend was so cute, so, you know, everything. So I, I couldn't stand that. I, I told my friend, hey, really? You too? Right? It was so... Uh, uh, you know, it, it really made me mad. So I told her in Spanish. I told her in Spanish. You are in a Spanish one. You will learn this. I will say it in Spanish. Odio ese gato. <laughs> right. Even if you are in a Spanish one, you will understand that. I hate that cat. But I didn't say, odio ese gato. No, I say, Odio ese gato. Right, I was very angry at that. Um, my friend, you know that they were learning English. So they understood what I said. Uh, I explained then the situation. And I told, hey, this may be a a dog, a pet, or maybe a criminal, <laughs> but it's not a cat, right? And they understand. Thank you so much. That's my story. I love that. I love the part where it's like, how do you tell someone, your baby is a monster? <laughs> Thanks, Janie. That was awesome.